Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the rain gutters off a Mark II Golf. So things you'll need are um, a plastic uh, removal tool, a clip removal tool, but I'd, I'd find one that's a bent because um, you want to pry it this way and so you definitely want something with a bend in it. I wouldn't recommend anything with metal. I'm painting my car so I'm not too worried if the edges here get scratched. Um, but if you are, you could always put some padding here or some uh, double sided uh, like foam tape or even single sided foam tape. And then you also want uh, something long. I'd also consider plastic. Um, and this, this is so you can keep the rain gutter from uh, clipping back in on itself. Okay, so so the trick to this is pushing it all the way in and then popping it out until this back side over here has to tilt this way. And you need a snap. So you can see here that there's a rib, so you have to pull it out this way because this glue has on. So you Okay. We got all the clips loose. Cool. There you go. So if you did it right, you'll still have these clips. You can see I broke this one and this one. These two are still good. It looks like most of the top ones are still good. And if not, they're inside this rail right here.
the first method I tried and the second method, I pretty much yielded the same result. So I don't think that would be a problem uh, deciding whichever way you want to do it. Uh, I found that on this side it was easiest to pull it out. It was a lot faster. On the other side, for some reason, it wasn't coming out this way, so I couldn't it this way. So it's really your choice whichever way you want to go. Okay, so after you're done, you should be left with a whole bunch of these. I'm just going to use a small knife and a small screwdriver. And basically what you want to do is you know, open them. And then either you can lift up like that, just to set it loose. And it should pop out. And then you shouldn't break anything. It should be good to go. And you'll reuse these or you can probably find some on VolkswagenHeritage.com. And that should be it. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you hate Plasti Dip. This is what I did to this whole entire car. So uh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Super hard to keep clean. Never looks really nice. So, so I'm taking these off so I can paint the whole car. Thanks for watching.